earthquake warning. Moon is slowing Earth's rotation and it will lead to major tremors. The moon is slowing down Earth's rotation and it will lead to greater earthquakes and will ruin the planet's ecosystem. Earth's rotation is slowing as our planet uses energy to keep the tide ahead of the moon's orbit. Our planet keeps the tide slightly ahead of the lunar satellite, which keeps the ecosystem in check and sloshes oceans from continent to continent. However, to do this, the Earth uses kinetic energy, something which is finite. This means Earth's orbit is slightly slowing down as it runs out of energy, and the consequences could be catastrophic. A slower rotating globe leads to stronger and more frequent earthquakes, exactly why this is the case is unclear, but experts believe it could be down to changes in the Earth's core which ultimately has an effect on the surface. Research from Roger Bottom of the University of Colorado in Boulder and Rebecca Bendick of the University of Montana in Missoula looked at earthquakes with a magnitude higher than 7 since 1900. The duo found five years since the turn of the 20th century where there were significantly more 7.0 earthquakes, all of which were years that Earth's rotation speed had slowed down slightly. Professor Bylam said, in these periods, there were between 25, 30 and 10 earthquakes a year. The rest of the time the average figure was around 15 major earthquakes a year. The correlation between Earth's rotation and earthquake activity is strong and suggests there is going to be an increase in numbers of intense earthquakes. What is more is that without tides, the ecosystem of Earth will be ruined and the planet will heat up, on one side at least. However, this is not expected to happen for billions of years at least. Planetary Science Institute PSI, wrote, in a couple billion years or so tides on Earth raised by the Moon will have slowed our planet down enough such that both the Moon and Earth keep the same sides facing each other. In other words, Earth's rotation rate will be equal to the Moon's orbital period, about 27 days now. Once Earth gets into this configuration you can imagine the change in weather patterns that would result. The night side would cool off significantly during the long period without solar heating. Conversely, the day side would heat up more than it presently does. This difference in heating and cooling may result in strong atmospheric winds blowing from the hot daytime side to the cold nighttime side. In addition, geographically speaking there will no longer be high tides coming in and going out because the position of the tides will be fixed with respect to the continents.